This video is an introduction and an unboxing of the Unify 6 Long Range Access Point by Ubiquiti. I wanted to add some Wi-Fi 6 functionality to my home network that had the capability to reach better into my backyard and facilitate a better connection to the cameras that I have connected in my garage. The Nano HD did a fantastic job, but uh, my Wi-Fi began to drop significantly when I was in my backyard and I had some difficulty connecting when I'm in my garage. So in comes the Unify 6 LR. First, this video is definitely just a first look in unboxing as I just got this thing in and I want to share its awesomeness with you. The U6 LR is a high performance access point that adds the advanced features and technology of Wi-Fi 6. Essentially, this thing is for powerful wireless coverage in an enterprise environment but I bought it for my house. The U6LR delivers an aggregate radio rate of three gigabits in the five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz ranges. This is possible because of the 4x4 MIMO radios that are built into this thing. The U6LR seamlessly blends into any environment and is capable of being mounted in an indoor and a semi-outdoor environment with its IP54 rating. So with those quick specifications, um, let's go ahead and hop into unboxing this thing. I finally got the Unify 6 in-house and this is the LR version and I've been waiting quite a while. I got on the wait list and pre-ordered this thing many moons ago and it is finally in my hands. Uh, I wanna get into unboxing this thing and taking an early look to see how this will fit within my whole Ubiquiti network that I set up recently. If you're interested in that video and how I built out my network cabinet, I'll leave a card right here and I'll also leave it linked in the video description if you wanna head over there and check that out. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the packaging as what is included in this long range uh, UAP. It is packaged phenomenally. There's this hard casing that's not part of the actual access point. Uh, right here, you got a guide for mounting the back plate for the UAP. The cool thing about this is that there's a level on this guide, a bubble level built into this disposable guide. I think that's quite neat and it's a really helpful tool to add to your whole setup. Here's the back plate. It has everything that you need as far as where you're gonna mount this and how you're gonna mount it. And they also got the drop down ceiling uh, backing as well. So if you were gonna, you know, put this on some sort of drop down ceiling, professional deployment environment, that's this is where you would use that. Uh, this mount is really sturdy and stout. It's uh, aluminum, stamped aluminum, and here's the release uh, gear right here. It's wrapped in plastic, and enough of that. Let's move that over. Let's see what you get in the box itself. With taking the accessory kit out, that's pretty much the extent of what's included in the, pack in the packaging. Um, you get a quick start guide with a QR code, so if you wanted to scan that, it would get you up and going. There's this really nifty hardware kit. You can see that it's embossed on this. It's really hard to see if you don't have like light uh, reflecting off of it and let's go ahead and pull it out and see how this is packaged it's a uh, very udm pro you know unified dream machine pro-esque you pretty much provided all the hardware that you need and that's the extent of the packaging that you get with the unify 6 lr access point now to get to the actual access point itself there's this protective covering that's in place on the actual access point that you're going to want to remove after you get it in your hands it's a soft touch feel there are some things about making videos that i wish i could share with y'all and this is one of them the feel you know smells and things like that this feels absolutely great this thing is significantly more heavy than my nano hd and it's significantly bigger we'll look at comparisons here momentarily getting into the back of this you can see that there's two indentations. It looks like it may fit like a, a Nano HD wall plate or something here. I just don't know how you would take it off if after you mounted it. Um, the larger bracket is what fits with what's included in the long range UAP. Uh, there's a release right there. So that lock-in plate will go there. And then within the hardware, there's a release tool that you can poke in there and twist this off. There's an indicator here that shows where um, it should be locked in or where you set it. So you can set that uh, bracket in place uh, perfectly. Then on the bottom here, there's this rubber housing that you can remove or you have to remove to put in the ethernet. Um, this is because the U Unify 6 LR is IP54 rated, which means it will go outdoors, but not in, in extreme environments where it's hitting, you know, getting direct wind or water. It'll uh, deter against uh, minor splashes and stuff. So you could probably put this on some sort of soffit under a deck or something where it's covered. 
Uh, it will work outside. I would just be uh, cautious of where you place it and how much exposure to the weather element or the weather and the elements that it will actually receive. Down at the bottom here, there is one single PoE plus port and a reset uh, button. So a little recessed reset button if you ever need to reset the UAP. Uh, with that being said, you're going to need power over ethernet to run this thing. So you're going to need some sort of switch that has that capability to power this thing. Um, that is the extent of what the Unify 6 LR is and how it looks up close and personal. Okay, so here's the Nano HD and here's the Unify 6 LR. I mean, this is a great comparison if you know or if you've seen one of these UAPs in person. Uh, for, you know, scale sake, that's an iPhone 12 Pro. This thing is quite big. It's a lot larger than the Nano HD and it's a lot heavier. So just keep that in mind. It feels like the backing is more reinforced on this thing than the Nano HD. These are probably the most comparable to of the Wi-Fi 6 products that Unify is introducing in the UAP form factor. The Unify 6 Lite that's the similar size to the Nano HD only does two by two MIMO. Essentially in non-nerd talk, that means that that doesn't handle as much traffic to it as many devices being connected to it. I am in no way in need of the Unify 6 LR. No way, it's just a lot of power for a small house. I am just an overkill type of guy and I really wanted this in my home. Want, another thing that really sold me on this is that you can change the LED color on this. So I'm gonna swap that around and kind of play with that after we get it adopted and you know put in uh, built into my system. This is gonna go in my garage and then just extend my network further for you know uh, IoT sorts of things and cameras because uh, in my garage it's a little further, so this is gonna help support that. Anyways, that's a comparison between these two. Upon a closer inspection, I can see that this, this bracket here on the uh, Unify 6 LR matches up almost perfectly with the Nano HD. So I did a little bit more exploring, and it looks like the Nano HD mount does work, because you're gonna have to push that in anyways and snap it into place, and then it fits perfectly. You're just gonna have a little bit of difficulty removing it as you know, you're gonna need a longer tool to remove it off the wall. Um, but I did verify that it does work. I wouldn't recommend it though, cause it's probably gonna be really difficult to get off the wall, uh, especially with this opening here, you're limited to getting access to it. So if you're gonna do that, you're gonna push this in place. Just imagine this being on a wall and then, you know, locking it down. And then you're limited to having to reach in here some way, somehow with the tool lift it up far enough away from the wall and then twist it to uh, take it off the wall. I uh, wouldn't recommend it, but it does work. Okay, so here is the power of the Unify 6 LR. I am literally 50 yards away from my house and I'm getting a connection that is substantially better than what I would get on the Nano HD. And this is where I think uh, the power of the system is. This is why I upgraded so I could get connection out here because at some point I'm gonna make this some sort of sitting area and family's gonna be out here and they're gonna wanna be on the Wi-Fi. Uh, out at this point right here, I was getting uh, downloads into the 10 megabits per second and with the Nano HD, but the Wi-Fi 6 LR is substantially better because it has a way better connection to uh, Wi-Fi connected devices that are out in this area. I'm gonna run a live Wi-Fi speed test here um, momentarily. I'm gonna pop it here up on the side of the screen so you can see. My downloads are significantly better up into the 100 megabits per second. And then uh, my uploads are substantially better than that. So, uh, I can see peaks up into the 300s at some times. With that said, the reason why I wanted the Unify 6 LR is connection uh, outside of my house further from my house. Out here with a Nano HD, it's just impossible and it, it wouldn't work. Very, very limited to Wi-Fi and it would be bouncing from connection to LTE or 5G and all types of stuff. So it burn battery on my Wi-Fi connected devices uh, and not give me a, a good connection. And this is a huge performance increase that I've realized with the Unify 6 as being able to connect to Wi-Fi connected devices further from my home. Like I said, this is just an unboxing and first impressions of the U6 LR. I'm really impressed initially because of the actual throughput that this thing provides. You're not gonna notice a big difference if you already have a Nano HD in your home, 
but um, you will notice as you start to move further away from this thing, because I mean, it's built in, the, it's actually in the name of the Unify 6 long range. I am really impressed by how far I can get away from this thing and not see a steep degradation in performance throughput on uh, just Wi-Fi connectivity. And if I could make a recommendation to you, if you have a, a really spread out environment in your home, or you're trying to connect a lot of devices to one access point, I think the Unify 6 LR is probably gonna be the best solution for you. And coming in at 180 bucks, uh, you, you know, USD at the time of this video, I, it's kind of unbeatable. One thing with the price though, you, you just can't purchase the Unify 6 LR alone. You're gonna need some support uh, hardware, uh, like the Unify Dream Machine Pro with a switch that has PoE. Those are things that you're gonna have to consider, but if you're already invested in Ubiquiti and the Unify 6 System, this is a perfect uh, addition to your setup. I will be putting my thoughts to paper uh, and then delivering those to you on video at some point. I just need more time with this in my full review. I'll cover everything. Uh, just make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that. If you're interested in pricing and availability, I'll link you directly to Ubiquiti's website and their store. There you'll be able to pre-order this thing because right now you can't order it. I'll also link some affiliate links as I get them because this thing is brand new. Um, as they start to make more of them and they're available on Amazon and B&H and Adorama, those links will be down there as well. Uh, full disclosure with those links, however, is that they are my affiliate links. So shopping through them, they give me a little bit of commission based on your purchase without costing you anything in addition. It's just a way for you to support content creation here on this channel. And I highly appreciate it if you do shop through those. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.